What's up, Scorpio? It's your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot Bee in Boston. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, Mercury, Mars, Venus, May 15th through May 31st. So this is for the rest of the month. Um, although they shut my state down till September, so you guys may be seeing more readings than you thought. If I can find the time between baby Aries and being married and really needing to clean my house. Um, but this month for you guys is really tough. You've got the Scorpio full moon, the blossom moon. Um, and then you've also got Pluto retrograde in Capricorn, which is a very, very tough sign for you guys. Okay. You and Capricorn couldn't be any more different than you already are. Um, you know, where you're very fluid, Capricorn is very solid and takes a stance. And so it's hard for you to come crashing into that wall. Okay. And that's what that energy is going to be like for you. You were coming along, coming along, coming along, and everything was going just fine. Um, and then all of a sudden it's like you were spiritually advancing, things are happening for you. And then bam, there's that Capricorn energy and it's stubborn and it's setting you slowly, just kind of taking you backwards a little bit. Okay. Because Pluto is in retrograde, which isn't a bad thing, but it's going to force you to deal with all the skeletons in your closet, what you're feeling, what you're going through. Um, it's going to force you to deal with things that are resurfaced that you won't even realize were there. Okay. You're going to have to fight through it. If you want to keep your happiness and everything that you've worked for, you're going to have to fight through this shadow work and you're going to have to keep moving forward no matter how hard that green gets with the Capricorn energy. Keep it moving forward, guys. Okay. Because you are doing so amazing in your spirituality. And I've been watching your success and your succession into spirituality for quite some time now, for about a year. And you guys are just doing amazing things that most people can't even dream of doing. Okay. You're just changing your personality and your traits. And that is not easy to do. Um, I feel like right now you're working, you really need to work on getting yourself, um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, you can really work on getting yourself balanced. Okay. Uh, you really, really need to work on getting yourself balanced. Um, I feel as though there's a lot of truths you need to let out to yourself. It's not truths from other people. You really, really need to let these truths out to yourself. You need to allow yourself to realize that there may be insecurities there that you need to face still. There may be old things resurfacing. It is Pluto retrograde. That is what happens. And you got the Scorpio last super moon, the blossom moon. Okay. It's going to happen and things are going to resurface that you thought were healed. You thought they were okay, but they're going to come back up and you're going to have to fight it back down. Once you fight it back down, you're fighting it back down for good. Time to get rid of these old habits, guys. They're dragging you backwards. These, these old ways of thinking and doing. They're dragging you backwards, okay? Um, I jumped right into the reading. I didn't even get into anything else. <laughs> Cross watchers, welcome to the Queen Tarot B. Um, if this energy comes in, vice versa for you, and you find you're the one going through this, there are, are times when I do read vice versa. So feel free to leave a comment below and let me know how the energy is coming in for you. I do actually read and respond to my uh, comments as much as I can. Um, so yeah, feel free to go ahead and do that. Anybody who needs a personal reading, the information's in the box below. And if you want to see our pay it forward initiative, uh, there is a video I put out. Um, people have been paying forward readings and I have been matching their donations and time. So if they purchase a half an hour free reading for somebody less fortunate, I then add a free reading for 30 minutes to somebody else and we're paying it forward that way. So if you want to join that, my information's in the box below, please email. Um, I've already given away, I think, 15 or 16 free readings in the past, like, two days. It's amazing. Like, you guys are really rocking it. Um, but I feel like there's major truths there. You're going to have to fight with yourself on this. You're going to have to realize that you're wrong on this one, okay? You're going to have to take one for the team. You're not going to be happy about it. But these are old things resurfacing. These are not things that need to be in your future. You need to... If you planted them in those seeds, you need to pluck them and put them back in where they go, your past, okay? Stop allowing your past to haunt your future because you could find that your past destroys your future. Don't let that happen. You guys have come so far. 
some of you are just finding out that you're pregnant or that um, a girlfriend is pregnant. There's someone around you pregnant. And it's a good thing, okay? Or maybe you just had a baby. It's a good thing. It's a new passionate start. It's a push forward, okay? This is a push forward. And it needs to be, it has to be a positive push forward, okay? I'm not sure how you're feeling about it. Um, those of you who are pregnant and those of you who found out that this person is pregnant, but... <clears throat> Even if you're choosing not to raise the child together, I don't know where this is coming from. Um, you need to make sure that you co-parent. It's very important right now that you make sure you have your co-parenting skills on lock, okay? Because I'm seeing here someone who's adding and adding to the relationship but not getting anything back. Now, um, these are all their seeds. So they've added all these seeds and the only thing they're getting back is this tiny, tiny, tiny little plant, okay? little tiny plant. And so I also see the hermit. This is causing you to go inside and say, okay, well, this person, and this could even be that you're pregnant with an idea of a business and this person is not supporting you. Okay. Keep that in mind. I just got that as well. Um, this could be the idea of a business and this person you feel is not being supportive of your ideas. Um, but know that if you're, you know, thinking about co-parenting instead of being together, um, you really need to get that on lock, okay? Because this is the new norm. And so you're going to have to figure out new ways to co-parent. It's not going to be free like it used to. There's going to, it's going to be some obstacles. And I think you already know that this is like a whole new world order thing going on here. I'm going to be sitting in this house till September. So I don't know about y'all, but I'm losing my mind already. Um, here I'm showing the two of cups. And so there is some separation there and I don't see y'all coming back together. All right. I see somebody wanting to go their own way. Um, so maybe you're upset that they're not supporting your idea. And, you know, you're wanting to go your own way or they're wanting to go their own way. Um, maybe the idea of the way the relationship is supposed to go is not working out for the two of you. Okay. Um, but you have a past together. You, whoa. And you'd be giving up a lot. Um, you have a past together. You may not be twin flames, of course, with my four of wands in reverse. For those of you who are wondering... This right here is a card of soulmate expiration date. This is letting you know this is not um, this is not a twin flame. Okay, you just have a past with them, a past life. You have done this before with them, and so this time around, it's time for you to learn your lesson. Whatever lesson is coming from this, whether it's co-parenting, whether it's parenting, whether it's um, you know learning how to come out of your shell when it's necessary and understand that you have responsibilities. Um, or if it's dealing with those truths. Okay. It needs to be done guys. And I love you guys. Like I love Aries. So I tell it to you straight. Okay. I'm not sugarcoating anything, but yeah, there's, there's some definite upset here, okay, between you and another person. Somebody who comes in, they just take in whatever they want. They take what don't belong to them, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I feel like this is a relationship gone wrong for some of you. And some of you, this pregnancy is not a good new start. This is a, oh my God, what the fuck type of situation. Um, because I've got my asshole card here. This person couldn't be bothered with anyone but himself. If you look at it, here he is. And the crow's trying to let him know, hey, there's somebody over here that needs your attention. And he's just like, oh, me, 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 me. So that to me is an asshole. Uh, stolen valor takes what doesn't belong to him. Uh, doesn't pay attention to other people's feelings. Um, just 
is me, me, me. Wants to be a free bird up here. Doesn't want to take responsibility. Doesn't care. Um, and it's just not your thing. This is not what you thought this relationship would be. I know it's all over the place, but that's just the way they're giving it to me today. I don't, my energy's all over the place too. So Scorpio, your energy's all over the place. My energy's all over the place. <laughs> just take the messages as they come. You're at a crossroad, okay? And you don't know what to do. Oh boy. Yeah, you're at a real crossroad, guys. Um, I'm seeing the crossroad here. It's time to go. I'm seeing the little little planet there. Little globe. With the hanged man. But right now, pandemic. Where are you going to move to? How are you going to see an apartment? Going to go visit people with your mask on? Which I find, I'm calling bullshit on this after these murder hornets, okay? And the weather here. Something ain't right. Scorpio, y'all have a great, great, amazing tendency to know when something's not right. My Scorpio's feelers are going off. This government is up to no good. So where are you going to go? That's the problem here, okay? You want a fresh new start, but where are you going to go? You guys are really going through something here. You've got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So this is telling me that you're stuck on something that happened in the past. Something that happened in the past is deeply impacting you, okay? It's very, very deeply impacting you. This Ten of Swords literally is a Ten of Swords, and it seems like it follows you. It seems like it comes with you, and it destroys your happiness. You allow it to destroy your happiness. You want revenge so much for what this person did to you, that it, you're allowing it to destroy your happiness. Each one of these Ten of Swords, you're firing away at your partner. You're destroying each one of these Ten of Cups with each one of these Ten of Swords. Scorpio, what the fuck y'all doing? Y'all know better. You guys are doing so good. Stop it. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Right now, it's saying, stop looking at the 3D world. Okay? There's someone in your life that's very, very materialistic. And it's also talking about Capricorn energy again. Okay? So this Capricorn energy, it's very materialistic. It's very 3D. It's very... Um, that's really all I can say is it's very 3D. Iced coffee. Um... It's very 3D. And you're stuck in the emotion of it. She's in her boat trying to get away, but how far are you going to get with birds pulling your boat? Okay? Now she's in a storm, a mental storm and an emotional storm. She's stuck in this emotion. All this emotion swirling around her, and I just finished telling you that you're taking all ten swords. I don't know what that was. Sorry, email. Um... You're taking all ten swords and destroying all ten cups, babies. So the question is, get yourself out of this energy. This Capricorn energy is not good for you. Go back to Scorpio energy and let go of whatever that is. Because whatever you're carrying with you here, this person's only going to put up with that so many times. Okay? So many times. You can only kick a puppy so many times before it bites you, right? Or it runs away. I think my email's catching up. Um, I'm going to do another shuffle for you guys. See what else we can pull up. I know the messages are all over the place tonight, but that's just the way they are. I'm nice and calm. My energy is just kind of eh. But your energy is like buh, 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 buh. <laughs> And I don't blame y'all. I mean, got a lot going on there. But I don't want to see y'all ruin something good for yourself over something that happened in your past. Just because Pluto goes retrograde and Capricorn and you got a Pluto full moon and a super moon at that. So that really hits you hard. Yeah, you're not feeling like yourself. Hello, Scorpio. Thank you for coming to your reading. But you're not feeling like yourself. Okay? 
something's telling me you're standing in your power, but you're standing in the wrong way. Okay? You're standing in your power like the emperor, but you're not taking charge like the emperor. You need to be taking charge of your life. You need to be taking charge of your responsibilities. And you feel sluggish. You don't feel like yourself. You're not taking charge. You're not capturing that Mars energy and just go with it. You're out of balance. Yeah, and you're fighting with yourself emotionally, okay? You're fighting with yourself emotionally over whatever happened in your past. You've got to let that go. You've got to let this go if you want the future to work, okay? Because there's internal arguing, there's external arguing, there's constantly you feeling like, what is that? What am I looking for? Not a victim, because I don't want to say you guys are being the victim or playing the victim. That's not what I mean by it. What I mean by it is that you actually were the victim of it. It's a past tense energy, but it's hanging on. It's like its talons are in you or your talons are in it. And it's like this energy, like I'm, you know, I, I don't know exactly what it is, but it's an insecurity and you've got to let it go. Yeah. Some of you were just really, really feeling it. Okay. You've got the Knight of Wands. You've got the Nine of Pentacles and the Three of Swords. So here's your single garden. You're sitting in your single garden, but what's really going on in your single garden? You guys have let everything rot away because you're not yourself. You're not taking charge. You're not going out and getting these opportunities. You're not taking advantage of the economy the way that it is. You guys are so fucking smart. You could be starting your own business and taking advantage of this economy the way that it is and not in a bad way, but learning to live off of this economy because this is the way it's going to be for <laughs> Lord only knows. Lord only knows. I saw some shit today that really made me change my mind about what's going on. So y'all just have your own opinions, but I, I'm not blind and I'm awake. You're feeling some heartbreak here, okay? You're still feeling torn up about something from your past. Somebody from your past who was very in and out just came in and took whatever they wanted and left. You're still wanting some sort of revenge, okay? And it's coming out in the present. This is coming out in the present. Whatever this person did in the past, because this is the past position, is coming out in the present. And it's causing a lot of heartbreak. It's causing a lot of strife, a lot of fighting, a lot of um, you just being in your mind in the wrong possible ways. And then you're sitting and you're waiting for the surf to come in, okay? But the surf doesn't come in because when you're doing this type of behavior, when you're doing that type of behavior and you're not paying attention to whoever and whatever's going on around you, You've put this person, whether it's a family member, a significant other, whatever, you've put this person on the outside of this door several times. So you're waiting for the surf to come in. You're waiting for them to come open arms to you. But how many times have you treated them as though they're the person that did this to you and it's from your past? Think about it. It's showing past double behaviors that need to be corrected. You guys got this all day, okay? You just need to communicate it. Past devil behaviors. He's in the reverse, so you're just stuck there. But you need to do yourself a justice and realize that Scorpio has the right to be loved. Scorpio has the right to be fucking happy. Scorpio has the right to communicate that this hurt them. But they don't have the right to take it out on their current partner. Uh -uh. And it shows me here that you know that this person who hurt you is looking to get back together with you. I don't know if you've had contact with this person and that's what set you off. An email or a phone call or a Facebook or whatever. I feel like there's been contact with this person and you now know that they want you back and that's what set you off. 
and you haven't told your significant other. You haven't made this decision to tell that other person. You know that you should be telling this other person that that's what set you off, that that's what made you flip out. It's not whatever they did, it's whatever you're doing. If this person contacted you and you don't want anything to do with them, you should be talking this out with your partner. Or if you're single, you should be really working on yourself to get eradicate this behavior that this person brings up in you because they bring up some pretty hot feelings and they're not good. You absolutely despise this person. Damn, Scorpio, your energy feels like Aries today. Aries is, whoo, they're ready for war. They're ready to go out and start, I don't know. <laughs> all right, Scorps, I'm sorry, but your energy is just all over the place, and that's just where it's at today. So this is your girl, Kelly, coming straight at you for the Queen Tarot B in Boston, and I will catch y'all on the flip side. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves, and you'll be seeing more of me. Oh, and don't forget, if you want the pay it forward um, incentive, email me, and if you want a tarot reading or spiritual chat or whatever, you know where to find me. All right, guys. Catch you on the flip. Bye.